Hello guys, today I'm going to do a blue and white design and I want to share with you how easy it is to do vines and flowers. All right, so we're going to use um, a 12 flat and then I'm going to pull out a script liner for some other detail that I'm going to want to put on my uh, my vine. Okay, so those are the two brushes, a uh, two script liner and a 12 flat. All right, so make sure you know that all my brushes are dark green handle. The super deal is about $16 for 10 brushes. And this is your largest and this is your smallest. And they have, I have numerous flat brushes, two liner, different kinds of liners, scruffy brushes for doing wisteria and flowers, uh, scruffy. All right, and then I have, um, oh, I just got rid of my liner. And then um, those are real affordable and they're great for student brushes, but I use them all the time myself. All right, so then I have my signature brushes and those brushes are lavender and um, white and they have the hook art one stroke on them and they have numbers. I've taught you guys, if you've watched any of these tutorials, I've taught you guys really well how to use each one for what. And um, so check those out. They're really good. Um, I'm using my double loader today. And this helps anybody who's having a hard time doing their strokes. It's got a lid, which has a sponge inside the lid. And you wet, deepen that sponge. And it keeps us wet and moist until you use it again then the paint and then there's a lid to go over the medium all right and so we're ready to go so i have put in um a medium blue cobalt blue you worker white um citrus green classic green and daffodil and all of these along with the floating medium I put in the middle floating medium. All right, so what these are, are they're, they're for multi-surfaces and it's the folk art multi-surface paint and it's creamy and luscious and it's what I use for all my one stroke painting. So I just wanna share with you from the double loader to any kind of brushes and my floating medium that's vital and our wonderful colors and paint are all on onestroke.com. O-N-E stroke.com. So when you need your mediums, when you need um, any of your painting supplies, come check me out. Along with online lessons, full length online lessons and recordings and um, all kinds of other products from packets to videos, all right? So I want you to see that I'm picking up in between, I split the brush, pick up that paint, work it in in an empty cubby and get it all ready to paint. Now, when I'm on paper, if I get a good load, I don't have to worry about it, but when I'm on paper, okay, it might get dry, but that will go really easily for you if you have enough paint on your brush. So I, in the loading area, I'm gonna uh, pick up more and I want you to see that I'm picking up the front of my brush and dragging the last bristles of the brush. All right, so watch this. We're going to come here. You see that? And only the darker green, the classic green is drawing across there. Okay, then I want to show you that we're going to put I'm gonna come closer, let's see, get right there. All right, I'm gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three for leaves, one, two, three. Now, if you see that, they're gonna be a triangle. So I'm pushing down and I'm releasing. Pressure, release, pressure, release. And then I want you to take and pull a stem in right while that's wet. All right, so I picked up more pressure release. And this is just pointing to the direction I want it. Okay. All right, and then one more here. OK, 
Okay. There we go. All right, so I have another fun little flower that I want to teach you. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to split this brush, but I'm doing one third cobalt and two thirds medium blue. So now push hard, 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 hard to work it in. All right. So this controls you so you don't make a muddy mess. All right. So if you're right in here, then it's going to work well for you when you're stroking and not getting muddy. Okay. I want to come up closer. And I want to show you a fun flower. So here's my center. All right. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go to a point and then I'm going to come back. So see, it's light blue on the tip and it's darker blue near the center. Okay. I'm going to keep picking up more paint. I go right in there and get more. Okay, so look what I'm doing here. I keep going to the right here where I loaded and picking up more paint. Oops. I did it reverse. <laughs> okay. I'll act like these bottom ones. I wanted to do it that way. <laughs> That's not my intention. Sorry. So pressure, stand up to a point. Pull back from the point, lean out, and stand up. All right. So let me get a smaller brush. So that was a 12. Let's just get a little bit smaller. All right. And we're going to load that brush. You push it really hard at first to get it into the bristles, and then you're worried about blending the top. Now I'm gonna come right here and just get this white on the tip. All right, so let's come up here. Here's my center, all right? So I'm gonna go out to the point and come back. All right, so out and come back i gotta clean this side up there we go a little bit smaller and then you can even get smaller than this but i don't like too many small small things <laughs> okay so do you see that so you can get any shape pedal you want coming out to a point leaning to the other side and coming back okay now I can come in here and even do less. Let's put the dark on the outside. So I'm going to go right here and see how small I can do it with this. What is this? A 10. I thought I was getting an eight. All right. So I got to come back in here and get to a point. Now, if you did this blossom with yellows, all right, yellow and yellow ochre, it would be a squash blossom. Okay. Now, let me show you another thing. I can take and put a trumpet right here underneath. All right. Come back here. Okay, so we're going to come right in here. Pressure, lift, come back. Pressure, lift to a point and come back. Okay. 
Okay, so I need a little bit of white right here. Let's come down here a little bit. So aren't they pretty little blossoms? I'm gonna come back here and put white, but I need more. All right, one more. All right, right here. Okay, so see how I got little as I went up? All right, so what's going to happen here is we're going to clean our brushes and lay them on the paper towel so you don't leave them in the water, okay? You get a chance just for me today, go check out what I've got on my site and it'll help you with your painting needs, I promise. All right. So I'm gonna come right here in the middle and make a circle. All right, with the handle of the brush and citrus green. All right, so that's with the handle. And then I'm gonna come in here and just put a, a yellow dot that's not showing up. Okay. Put yellow in the center of each one. Okay, so one thing that will help you too, let's get a smaller brush. Is I'm gonna get um one script liner to come in here so a little closer and dot all around here same thing's going to happen over here okay the other thing is the same flower sometimes has a push and lift little little center into the petal. Okay. All right, so. I did see, if you come in here and pick up some white, I did see that some of these have more of a white shading on the tip. Nope. So you can make it any way you want it. You can put all this little shading or not. And I can show you and I put a little teeny bit of this green right here at the end, like a calyx on the trumpet, all right? And right here, I can pull the flowers to the vine, all right? And this one comes there, all right? Now, Let's put some curly cues on here. Now to do this, I'm going to pick up and make a circle. Make it really inky. Now you don't use a floaty medium for this. You roll it in the water. And this is really the only brush I use water with. All right, so look what happens here. Okay. So I'm coming all in here. See, you're just pulling this from here. All right. Little curls.
Isn't that kind of pretty? A little border that you can put around a table or a dresser on the back of a chair. All right. And then I, any of the leaves, see this leaf doesn't look so good. So look what happens here. I'm going to take and pull a nice point on it, pull a stem in it. So right here, and then I can come around in here. and pull a stem into there. All right, so I sign my name. Okay. So a little bit of white shading here. And what happens with this is your floating medium. You can use float, look. We get floating medium. We work that into the brush and we pull the, the cobalt. And look, I can come right in here. It makes it possible for you to float this color in here. All right, I can get a little bit more. And this is on cards or cardstock or paper. And it will even do it there for you really easy. Okay. So where did I smear my yellow? Oh, my finger went into the yellow. All right, so that's good. So let me show you. I'm gonna pick up the yellow daffodil and put it as little berries here and there. That's an ac a happy accident. Okay. A little bit of yellow here and there. Okay. And all I'm gonna do is take this little bits of green and grab it and pull these berries back. Grab it and pull. So look at this. Just little teeny bits of curls and greenery. See how that adds just a little bit to it? So that's what happens when your finger goes into the yellow and smears it on your piece. <laughs> All right, to finish it off right here. Thank you for being on with me today. I hope that you can end up painting something that you you enjoy. There you go. Until next time, let's paint. <laughs>